Hello my viewer and thank you once again for joining me. This is TCL Media and yes of course my name is always Daniel Lovi. I'm here today at County 001. You know what my guy? Talk about Mombasa County and yes of course the sun is actually so scorching right outside here and today on this episode I want to just show you in depth and even get to know the secrets that are hidden the mysteries about the mombasa county and today we are here at the fort jesus and of course i'm going to show you some of the things that you want to know or rather get to know i was fort jesus it was established and the people who are concerned about the establishment of fort jesus and yes of course how is it so possible or rather helpful to the country of kenya just come along with me come as you can see from the beginning, we have this portrait description of, of, of our Fort Jesus or rather what is the purpose of this Fort Jesus. And as you can see there are some writings on the wall and we are just going to read them for you because uh, at the end of the day I will also tell my cameraman to zoom in and you will be able to see them. Oh, right here we have uh, Fort Jesus National Monument inscribed of the world's heritage list of the convention concerning the protection of the world cultural and natural heritage during the 35th session of the World's Heritage Committee in July 2011 as having outstanding universal values which deserve protection for the benefit of all humanity. Of course, this is the courtesy of the National Museum of Kenya. And as you can see, this wall structure, I'm just going to even take you inside. We are going also to see, uh, my cameraman is going to show you some of the things which are inside. Uh, bearing in mind that Fort Jesus, it was, uh, uh, it was established by the Portuguese during or rather towards the end of the 16th century and this was to protect uh, the old town of Mombasa. L -l Let's get to know what is inside and you know the wall of this building. Just come along. We are having the arrival of the Arabs eh? from the Mazrui family. So when the Arabs came here now, you find now they are having the arrival of the Arabs. They had now to realize that now in Africa we had the partitioning and scrambling in Africa, whereby we have countries from the Europe side. They are also con co co uh, also colonizing countries in, Af in Africa. Along the coastal line on northern side we have Ethiopia, where was, which was never colonized, acting as an emperor. But along the coastal line, we have Somalia, and we have Tanzania at that time being called Tanganyika. Uh, Somalia was colonized by two countries. It was colonized by uh, France and Italy. And, uh, and Tanzania at that time being called Tanganyika, or the Maji Maji Rebellion, they were colonized by Germany. Only Kenya and Uganda was acting as one country, was, was, never, was uh, not colonized at that, at, at that time. So the, the Arabs who are here in Mombasa, they are in fear that we have also other uh, countries from the Europe side that can come here and colonize Kenya. So they have to use a trick rule. How? They have to invite the British people so that when they come here, they can protect them. They invited the British such as uh, Ludwig Kraft, John Redman. Those are the leaders in the, in the British country to, to come and protect these, uh, these Arabs here. So when the British came here, they said, we are, you have already dominated the world, Mombasa, because Mombasa is an island. So they, uh, the British said they will, they will not settle here. They decided now to move into the interior side of, of, Momba, of, of Kenya, where they were going to such places such as Nairobi, Mount Kenya, some acting as explorers, others discovering new places, such as Lake Victoria. They were naming the, those towns. Eh? Also, apart from that, they were doing what we call the white settlement scheme. In places such as in where Tiberia Te -Tebera education scheme and also Ahero, they were cultivating, acquiring good fertile lands so that they can cultivate. Uh, I mean, cultivate. So now you find within that year, they had covered like the whole part of Kenya. Now, when they came here, they were introducing what we call the Kipanda system, hard tax. Those are the things they were introducing. Huh? When they came back here, they told the Arabs, now you, have, you are torturing these uh, this, this Africans here. Why? You are, you are forcing these Africans here to go and work to foreign countries with point of no return. So they demanded, they were not, uh, by, it was not by choice. They were demanding these Arabs 
that uh, we, are, we are demanding you to abolish what we call the slave trade. But the Arabs never wanted that because that was the, their main activity here. So when they never complied, then the British had to call more uh, British people to come and send away these Arabs. So they never fought. We had the signing of treaties that happened here. So this Mazurui Hall was acting as a court. Eh? A court where you find there only one meeting was done. Meeting between the Arabs and the British. Why? They are surrendering powers to these people. Why? Because, uh, because, they, are, they, they, because they are now... They are now uh, surrendering powers to this uh, British because they have no superior weapons to, to fight this, uh, the, this, this, this uh, British people. So you find only one meeting was done here. So whenever this Arab judge could judge something, we have some people who, who could get shocked. So this room was acting as a place where they were judging the meeting.